what's up everybody welcome back with another video it's your boy Robbie once again today we're actually not gonna be making anything for the car but we're troubleshooting the car Mazda Speed has issues the issues are <laughs> anyways so the car has issues the issue of the car is that my tail lights not my tail lights but my brake lights does not work and I know why it don't work because the fuse is blown and also my horn doesn't work and that all happened at the same time now I've read about this uh, online that it happened to a couple of people and some people are saying different type of stuff so I don't know we're gonna diagnose it today and see what's going on basically what happened is the horn stopped working one day and then I was like what the heck that's weird and then at that same night my stoplight stopped working and then eventually I got a check engine light the check engine light code I think was zero five seven one or something stupid like that and uh, actually let me show you guys real quick which code it is alright so the two codes that I got was PCM codes one of them is code P0703 and that's torque converter slash brake switch B circuit mount function and the second code was P0571 cruise control slash brake switch A circuit mount function now it makes no freaking sense whatsoever just based on what the actual access port is telling me right there it just says that the cruise control brake switch A is not working right and then also the torque converter brake switch is not working right go figure now I don't know if that's how the gen ones are but when I turn on my cruise control and let's say I'm driving on the freeway turn on cruise control everything works right and then <clears throat> I hit the brake the cruise control shuts off but the light still says cruise control on your dash cool then when you stop the car and the cruise control light is still on and you shut off the car completely take out the key put the key back in turn on the car the cruise control light still says on I don't know if that's normal or you manually physically have to press the off button in order to turn it off now if I press the off button on the steering wheel, it turns off and the light's gone, everything's cool. But why is the cruise control light still on even though the car key is actually out of the car? That part I don't get. So maybe that has to do something with the problem that we're experiencing today. So, from that point on, my brake lights are not working and the fuses keep popping every single time. I don't know why the fuses are popping. It could have been from a connection when we did the, the bumper little reflector lights which I doubt it because I really soldered them really nicely and um, they're covered completely insulated there, there shouldn't be a short there second thing that I'm thinking is because my intake is very close to or it's actually kinda hitting my um, ECU wiring I was thinking because it's so hot here in Vegas like 118 degrees and stuff maybe it rubbed through one of the wires and tripped the wire or something like that and it just needs to be repaired so we're going to check that, we're going to check the ECU wires. We're going to see if we can insulate those a little bit better so they're not touching the actual intake. I don't know if that's going to work out, but we'll figure something out on that. So that's the second part we're going to look at today. Third part, we're going to inspect the horn, see if it's not unplugged to see why the horn is not working. And then from that point on, which is what everybody's pretty much saying online and stuff, is your brake switch um, that goes in the bottom of your brake pedal, of course. That one could have been could have just gone bad eventually or or I don't know I got damaged in some kind of way which I don't know how it can get damaged over there I don't really kick it or anything like that but they just go bad eventually so the car has about 90,000 miles right now so it's a little weird for it to go out so we'll see we'll we'll start diagnosing now first things first we're gonna take the front and back bumper off because I do need to reattach my front bumper a little bit better for for the fitment and second I need to re, re remove the rear bumper to check those connections that we did on those tail light um, reflector lights that we installed in the previous video if you guys can see all right so stay tuned all right guys so we've taken off the bumper it took literally like about five minutes to take off the bumper because um, my quick latches are the bomb anyway so there's the wiring of of where the intake is pretty much hitting it. Let me see if I can give you guys a good shot here. So, my intake is squishing the wiring harness, but 
as you guys can see it's actually not really even hitting my wires at all it's actually hitting this plastic white thing right there so I'm a hundred percent sure the issue is not here because it's not really hitting my wiring harness at all just hitting that clip that's kind of like grabbing the wiring harness so I think I'm safe here to say that that's not the issue of the car I did check the the horn right there and that's not that's not disconnected or any kind of way at all so I'm gonna go ahead and um, and go ahead and check the back I'm gonna take off the back bumper now and then check the connections that we did with those lights now okay guys so after blowing another two fuses I think we have found the issue with the car so initially when I went to AutoZone and got a couple of fuses because I saw my fuse popped I put a fuse in and as soon as I stepped the brake pedal it popped the fuse right off the back so there's obviously a short somewhere so I knew that there was a short and um, I just took out before taking out my rear bumper I inspected the connection uh, where we put these lights right here and um, I don't know if you guys can understand but this wire which comes from these lights down there right there this wire was pretty much kinked just like that one is right there like that and um, this is what this one looked like so at AutoZone when I got my fuses so you guys can see here when I got my fuses in AutoZone I cut this one because I was I was thinking because this light didn't work this was the issue this one seemed to be okay actually even though it's very exposed if you guys can see it's actually super exposed this one was the okay one now the left one I never cut and the left one when I just pulled the light right now I noticed that the bulb was out the brake bulb was out the actual tail light was on but the brake bulb was out because you know there's one bulb, one bulb for both it has two little burners inside so this side the bulb was out so I'm thinking this was the the side that was shorting out and this one was really bad actually the wire already fell through down there so I can't really show you but this one was the one that was shorting out everything and um, I just cut it off directly from where I had it connected to the to the actual brake light and um, I tested it and see if it works and what do you know my brake lights work so I'm happy that I found the issue I hope that's gonna resolve everything so now I'm actually gonna pull off the bumper just as I said before and I'm going to make an incision here or a hole for the wire to go through actually or I'm actually gonna run the wire through the little flappers if you guys don't know on the inside of your bumper in here on the bottom of this let me see if I can take all this out so there is a, a gasket sort of a, a deal down there and this is made usually for stuff to go through or wiring to go through or whatever so I'm thinking about running the wires directly through there where actually my wires for my hitch are going through that way you know I will have no issues of kinking the wires when the, the headlight or the tail light goes on so same thing on this side there's one down there as well. I'm going to see if I can fish it out nicely. Um, it's a little, going to be a little bit difficult because it's a small area. So I'll see what I'm going to do. Worst case, I'll make an incision through this one here and uh, get, it, get it going inside. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Take off the bumper and then um, connect these lights and see, make sure they still work and they're not shorted out. And if they do, then I'm going to figure out a way to run the wires inside the car safely. Alright guys, so I don't have to really take the bumper off. I got the wire to come through. Here's that wire that I was talking about that's really kinked up and messed up right here. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on it. But that's the one that was causing the issue, basically. So I'm going to show you guys where, see, I started it pretty nice, so I know that's not my issue. It was this kink here. So anyways, this is where we're going to run the wiring through. If you guys can see these are the flappers that I was talking about they're made out of rubber um, this on both sides of the bumper in the back they have these so I'm gonna run the wire through that that way it doesn't get pinched by anything at all and then I'll show you guys on the other side real quick 
same thing right there. There's a vent right there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna get the wires th through this side right there and then get them connected again where I had them connected before. And uh, and yeah, and then I'm gonna make sure they're nicely insulated. And I'm gonna start putting it back together slowly. So first things first, I'm gonna get the wires through there and I'm gonna make them really nicely and solder it into the inside of the actual car. Okay guys, so here we have it, pretty much all done, nicely soldered and uh, covered in shrink wrap. The other wires are those, the white, red and the black, those are for the aftermarket LEDs, reflective lights. So nicely, nicely covered, everything is really neat, this time there's no issues and uh, I'm going to show you guys where I ran the wire through. Let me see if I can get it in there right now. Yep, right there. So the wire is run through that section right there. So it's not going to be kinked anymore or anything like that. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to do the same thing to I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and then put it back together and uh, hope for the best. I already tested this side so this side worked perfectly fine so I'm pretty sure the other side will work fine as well. Uh, let's hope everything works. I'm going to get started on the other side. I'm not going to show you that part because it's pretty much the same thing just on the other side. Alright folks, so we're at the finishing product here. This side is nicely soldered as well. Perfect. And that side is nicely soldered as well. Perfect. We tested them. They work amazing. The bottom lights also work. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to clean up this whole mess that I just made over here. And then uh, put back my subwoofer. Make sure that works. Put on my, my tail lights. Make sure they work. And uh, attach, the, attach the bumper little bolts over here and stuff that I have removed. Thinking that I had to remove the whole bumper. But I actually didn't. So... Happy about that. The wire ran through there, as you guys can see. That wire right there. And that's that. All right guys, so there you have it. Nicely cleaned up. Everything uh, is good. The tail lights are in. They're definitely functional. Yo, can you uh, go in my car real quick and uh, hit up the lights? So my buddy right now is going to help me out so we can check it out and make sure everything works. There you go, the bottom ones work as well. Amazing. Good stuff. Cool. Alright guys, so there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I'm glad we can resolve the issue of the car. So I already checked the engine the engine codes or whatever. There's there's none now, so everything is good to go. The tail lights work. The, the eBay stuff works as well. It was just, the installation was whack. We were in a hurry when we made it, so... Third time's a charm, I guess. Um, if you want cork stickers. If you guys want cork sports stickers, look at that. For days. Send a comment. Drop down below in the comments. Mine. Let me know. Let me know if you guys want one of these. You must give my, my video a like and a share. Then you get a free sticker. <laughs> we'll ship it out to you. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Smash the thumbs up. Just like I said, if you have any comments or anything like that, drop them below. If you guys want to grab yourself some gear for your Mazda or any other car that you have, I have quite a bit of selection on my website, SurrealTunerMerch.com. That's going to be in the description as well. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget, what's behind you doesn't matter. You better love it.